Welcome back. Today's lesson is going to be how to create a plan outside of a command window that has been de demonstrated prior. Now, as we can see, none of our editing tools are lit up, so we need to begin an edit session. And you notice nothing is lit up per se that I can utilize until I start editing. Okay, now all my tools are lit up. And now my plan directory is available for me to access. So I go to plan directory. I already have three there, but I'm going to show you how I created these. So basically I'll be demonstrating how to delete a plan. So I highlight it, right click, and click delete. Click on it to highlight it, right click, delete. Highlight it, right click, delete. Okay, now we have no plans within our plan directory. So once this window is open, you can list any plans that were done in the last 31 days, last seven days, today, or you can list all. I can list all. All that's going to come up if I list all is the default plan. So we're going to say last seven days. Still nothing there. So we click on Create Plan. I want to go start with General. It's going to come up with Plan Date and Time. Uh, you could keep that as a way to monitor what plans, but then you'd have to remember which plan you want for the date that you labeled it by. So this one I'm going to show and I'm going to maintain as Chains. And this is going to be for record data entry of cadastral survey approved plats. All right, and I'm going to click apply. I'm going to go to record format. We're basically going to be using quadrant bearing. Most everything we work in is quadrant bearings. You have these other options of azimuth, polar, and internal angle. We're going to stick with quadrant bearing. You have degrees, minutes, and seconds, the direction that you want to use. Um, and you can have decimal degrees, degrees, minutes, seconds. I think pretty much everything we're going to be working is degrees, minutes, and seconds, and probably not decimal degrees. We don't want meters. We're going to work in U.S. survey chains, of which in that pull down, I did not find the difference between chains and U.S. survey chains. But eh, since we're in the U.S., we'll say U.S. survey chains. Acres. You have various means that you can display you want your acreages. You could display it in quarter sections. Square feet, square U.S. feet, sections, acres, square rods, and so forth. But we're going to utilize acres. That's more common what we're going to utilize. Now our circular curve parameters. I prefer radius and central angle. In early design standards, the radius and central angle are basically where the primary um, elements that were used for design. So I like sticking with those, and generally you can get uh, good results with your radius and central angle. Uh, circular curve direction. Uh, basically, we have we can enter the chord for the direction, the tangent, and the radial. For this, I'm going to say chord. And I click apply. Now corrections. Distance on the plan are assumed to be horizontal and at ground height. The least squares adjustment uses the heights on the control points to convert ground distances into grid distances. Store distances are unchanged. So we're going to for bearing corrections we know we're going to be utilizing true mid bearings. The bearings generally on approved cadastral survey plat are the bearing at the midpoint of the line or the average of the forward and back bearings. So we're going to use true mid bearings. 
click apply attributes it will not have updated attributes yet until we say OK. We can come back. It's still highlighted. We can right click, click properties, and we come back to the same window. And it shows our updates of all the attributes for that plan. Now here you see you can input survey or the company, the survey date, the legal date. is the information that we actually entered. You can put the accuracy created by, modified by, modification date for this particular plan. Okay. We'll say okay. So we have the first plan. The second plan we're going to create, we we'll come back here to general. You can see it comes with uh, the same date, just different time. But this one we're going to say uh, U.S. survey fee. U.S. Survey feet. And our description here is going to be for data entry of meets and bounds surveys not utilizing mid bearing okay so basically like a mineral survey they don't utilize the mid bearing so any meets and bounds survey that you, we're going to be in US survey feet and not utilizing a mid bearing say apply our record format is much going to be the same, only we're going to change this to U.S. survey feet. Acres, all of this remains the same. Apply. Corrections. We will not click on uses true mid bearings this time. So because um, it's just going to be like a private sector meets and bounds survey or a mineral that uh, is not utilizing mid bearings. We go to attributes. Once again, we can say it has an updated until we save it. <clears throat> Once again, we right click, go to properties, and there's our, <coughs> excuse me, and there's our attributes. We can go back through and see everything we entered is still there. It's basically reflected in the attributes. Once again, you can in put these other fields that's all up to the data steward on how they want to manage their data I say okay now we're going to create one more plan we're going to create a plan here that we're going to say US survey feed with mid bearings and I put mid bearings in there for this one to show it that it's different from the other US survey feet so this name will come up US survey feet with mid bearings say for data entry of approved survey Plants <coughs> utilizing mid bearings. Once again, this is all information that you customize, you can maintain as you wish. So we say apply, go to record format. We don't want meters, we want US survey feet. All this pretty much remains the same. This time we will click on uses true mid bearings. And we'll say apply. Go to our attributes. Once again, it won't be updated till we save the plan. We can come back, open properties, and our attributes are there. All our information is stored. Just by looking at the attributes, you can tell what these values are 
and I can slide this over if I want just like you do in Windows Explorer I can create this this way and give me a little bit more room actually that's about all I can do for extending it but I can see all my data is there it's been saved I have three plans that I al will already exist and stay once I close and once I save my edits now what you may want to do right after you create your plans you go ahead and close them and if you're planning on doing edits and then by chance you went in and started doing some edits that you did not want to save if you stopped to go back to where you were in the beginning before you messed up some edits and you say do not save edits well all your plans will disappear too so I would highly recommend once you create your plans say stop editing save my edits so when I come back up here and I start editing again I can come to my plan directory and my plan still exist if I had said do not save edits these would have disappeared it would not be available for my use this concludes this lesson of creating a plan or plans uh, hopefully you could see that you could basically create any plan that you wish for the application that you may desire so that will conclude today's lesson I hope it was beneficial and good luck, good luck to you all in the future and have a great day.